the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Hello, my name is Rosie Addis and I'm the Associate Rector at St John's on Princess Street in Edinburgh. Let us now worship God with words from Psalm 98. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvellous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gained him victory. The Lord has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of melody. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, make a joyful noise before the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the world and those who live in it. Let the floods clap their hands, let the hills sing together for joy at the presence of the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the Lord, he will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. Almighty God, whose chosen servant Abraham obeyed your call, rejoicing in your promise that in him the family of the earth is blessed. Give us faith like his, that in us your promises may be fulfilled. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Ezra. Blessed be the Lord, the God of our ancestors, who put such a thing as this into the heart of the King to glorify the house of the Lord in Jerusalem and who extended to me steadfast love before the King and his counsellors and before all the king's mighty officers. I took courage, for the hand of the Lord my God was upon me, and I gathered leaders from Israel to go up with me. Then I proclaimed a fast there, at the river Ahava, that we might deny ourselves before our God, to seek from him a safe journey for ourselves, our children and all our possessions. For I was ashamed to ask the king for a band of soldiers and cavalry to protect us against the enemy on our way, since we had told the king that the hand of our God is gracious to all who seek him, but his power and his wrath are against all who forsake him. So we fasted and petitioned our God for this, and he listened to our entreaty. Then I set apart twelve of the leading priests, Sherebiah, Hashabiah and ten of their kin with them. And I weighed out to them the silver and the gold and the vessels, the offering for the house of our God that the king, his counsellors, his lords and all Israel there present had offered. I weighed out into their hands 650 talents of silver and 100 silver vessels worth many talents and 100 talents of gold twenty gold bowls worth a thousand dachrics, and two vessels of fine polished bronze as precious as gold. And I said to them, You are holy to the Lord, and the vessels are holy, and the silver and the gold are a freewill offering to the Lord, the God of your ancestors. Guard them and keep them until you weigh them before the chief priests and the Levites and the heads of families in Israel at Jerusalem within the chambers of the house of the Lord. So the priests and the Levites took over the silver, the gold and the vessels as they were weighed out to bring them to Jerusalem, to the house of our God. Then we left the river Ahava on the twelfth day of the first month to go to Jerusalem. The hand of our God was upon us and he delivered us from the hand of the enemy and from ambushes along the way. We came to Jerusalem and remained there for three days. On the fourth day, within the house of our God, the silver, the gold and the vessels were weighed into the hands of the priest Merimoth, son of Uriah. And with him was Eliza, son of Phineas, 
and with them were the Levites, Jozebad, son of Jeshua, and Noadai, son of Binui. The total was counted and weighed, and the weight of everything was recorded. At that time, those who had come from captivity, the returned exiles, offered burnt offerings to the God of Israel, twelve bulls for all Israel, ninety-six rams, seventy-seven lambs, and as a sin offering, twelve male goats. All this was a burnt offering to the Lord. They also delivered the king's commissions to the king's satraps and to the governors of the province beyond the river, and they supported the people and the house of God. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. I will take you from among all nations and gather you from all lands to bring you home. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and purify you from false gods and uncleanness. A new heart I will give you and a new spirit put within you. I will take the stone heart from your chest and give you a heart of flesh. I will help you walk in my laws and cherish my commandments and do them. You shall be my people and I will be your God. A reading from Revelation. Then I saw another portent in heaven, great and amazing, seven angels with seven plagues, which are the last, for with them the wrath of God is ended. And I saw what appeared to be a sea of glass mixed with fire, and those who had conquered the beast and its image and the number of its name standing beside the sea of glass with harps of God in their hands. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. Great and amazing are your deeds, Lord God the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, King of the nations. Lord, who will not fear and glorify your name, for you alone are holy. All nations will come and worship before you, for your judgments have been revealed. After this I looked, and the temple of the tent of witness in heaven was opened. And out of the temple came the seven angels with the seven plagues, robed in pure bright linen, with golden sashes across their chests. Then one of the four living creatures gave the seven angels seven golden bowls full of the wrath of God, who lives for ever and ever. And the temple was filled with smoke from the glory of God and from his power, and no one could enter the temple until the seven plagues of the seven angels were ended. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, with God the Son, Jesus Christ, and God the Holy Spirit. We worship you. We give you thanks. We praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Jesus said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Let us, in response to the word of God, ask our Creator to forgive us those times in our lives when we have ignored or rejected the divine love and the divine law, when we brought pain and injustice upon our neighbours and ourselves, and when we violated and abused creation and life in its diversity. It is written, 
If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. May God, through the power of the Holy Spirit, forgive our sins, restore us to wholeness of life, and reveal God's abundant love for each and every one of us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. On Fridays we focus our prayers on healing. The healing of bodies, souls and minds. The healing of society and creation. And the healing of our relationships with God and with one another. Let us pray. Kyrie eleison. Lord have mercy. Christi eleison. Christ have mercy. Kyrie eleison. Lord, have mercy. We pray for all those hurting in body, mind or soul. God, our healer, whose mercy is like a refining fire. By the loving kindness of Jesus, heal us and those for whom we pray, that being renewed by you, we may witness your wholeness to our broken world. Through Jesus Christ and the power of the Spirit. Amen. We pray for all those suffering under oppression of any kind. Look with pity, O Heavenly Father, upon the people in this land who live with injustice, terror, disease and death as their constant companions. Have mercy upon us. Help us to eliminate our cruelty to these our neighbours. Strengthen those who spend their lives establishing equal protection of the law and equal opportunities for all. And grant that every one of us may enjoy a fair portion of the riches of this land through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray for the abused and wounded creation, remembering especially those gathered in Glasgow at COP26 right now. Bountiful God, you call us to labour with you in tending the earth. Where we lack love, open our hearts to the world. Where we waste, give us discipline to conserve. Where we neglect, awaken our minds and wills to insight and care. May we with all your creatures honour and serve you in all things. For you live and reign with Christ Jesus, Redeemer of all. And with your Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Uniting all our prayers into one, we pray as our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. For your grace into our hearts, O Lord, that we who have known the incarnation of your Son, Jesus Christ, announced by an angel to the Virgin Mary, may be his cross and passion and be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>